we introduced the new vector burning option in electrode works. In this example, we have a set of subgates to be created with electrode. First, we show the 3D shape that we created with SOLIDWORKS in the core plate. Extending the subgate cone surface and cutting the result with a plane, then closing it on both ends to create a solid body. Activating the air electrode dialog and selecting the electrode holder, electrode direction, and then selecting up to solid as the burn type. Notice that there is an extra red arrow which shows the default burn direction. You select the top of the 3D body shape and calculate the electrode. Now set the burn direction by selecting the cone, which selects the cone axis. You must flip the direction. Next, preview the 3D shape and calculate the burn distance. Create the electrode. Simulate the electrode movement. The burn area on this electrode is not created, so we must create it manually to allow spark gap and burn data. We do this by first editing the electrode and creating a split line on the cone surface using a plane that we create on the top face of the core. Next, we use the Electrode Works Select Burn Faces menu to identify these three faces as the burn faces. Here, we add the spark gap using the cell, the shell option. To show that this is in the regular electrode, we copy it to all the other similar subgates in the core. Now we create the electrode data, including the three positions of the electrode.
electro data, including the data of the technological information. And finally, the properties page with the burn information, which uh, created from the burn faces that we selected. Here is a different example showing a side burning electrode. And a simulation of how this electrode will work. Thank you for your attention.